it has been off Don't the record. Don't sign off as if it's your show because you needed me here. It's been Tamelo from Bristol. Tamelo from Bristol. Let me look at all cameras. Thank you. Off the record. You can cut, by the way. She has nothing further to say. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for on joining us. You're not about to edit this out. It's been the Tamelo show. Had I not been here, you'd have had full to speak about. So thank you. You can cut here because I'm just going to keep interrupting you. You might as well do this in your own time. Oh, Jesus is good. And I thank God for growth. I don't know what to say here because do I give it back? I don't know what's going on here, guys. Keep your career, sis. You, yeah. you, at least you have one. Yeah. At least I have one. Thank you. That is very At 31, I'd expect that. Yeah. Hopefully, and by the time you're 31, you would have grown out of part-time prostitution as well. No, your no. mom's still one. She's definitely not. She's definitely not. Let's okay. not do that, darling. Okay? Um, guys, thank you for watching Off The Record. It's been Midday Oni, the one and only, your host. And I shall see you on the next episode. See you on the next episode. Wow, wow, wow. Who is Malachi from the South? Who is it? Where are they? That's what I was thinking. And as I was watching this interview, I had so many questions, but they got lost in the song because of this interview. <laughs>
Can I even have... Uh, I don't know. You don't know? What I do for a living. Well, I, maybe we'll get into that. Who do you live with at the moment? Are you... Do you live alone? Alone. You live alone? Oh, yeah. okay, cool. The way she talking, so you don't know what you do. You don't know if you got a damn job or not. You don't know, you don't know what you do. Maybe she ain't saying what she does because what she does is uncomfortable to say out loud when you know that a hundred thousand people about to watch it and they could comment down below and you're caught off guard because this person is asking you questions like you down at the goddamn food stamp office. Bitch, ain't we gonna for me being on TikTok talking about a man eating my groceries, ain't this what we here for? Can you ask me about that? And also, Tamelo is a rapper. You should be asking questions about everything, not just what, what was your last pay statement and how much was it in your account? You got bank statements to prove it. Your myself. videos are quite loud, like you're shouting. A lot basically. of people have said that. Fuck all of you! Fuck all of you! No, no, I'm gonna walk around here like my shit don't stink. Bodyguard, shout me! I need a bodyguard now. I'm gone. But anyway, let's move on from that. So you're here because you exposed a young man called Malachi online. I wouldn't say he was my boyfriend. Okay. That's a lie. Yeah. He's an arrangement. Elaborate. What does arrangement mean? A situation ship. I know that's right. I know that's right. Know exactly what it is at the top of the motherfucking deal. Hold up. I used to be a young girl who didn't know what it was. I thought situation ships were relationships and relationships were relationships. And then I learned, I got to accept the reality of what some shit is and stop telling myself it's anything different. How did you and Malachi meet? So we actually met on a street, like we just bumped into each other. He was like, yo. Yeah. I was like, hi. And then? I was like, you're Leng, you know? Mm -hmm. I was like, what's your snap? I'm gonna start doing that when I meet guys. I'm gonna start doing that when I meet men. I'm gonna start being like, what's your Instagram? What's your snap? What's your Facebook? Because when men get your number, and this might be for women too, when somebody who is interested in you gets your number, why you wanna FaceTime immediately? Immediately? I don't even know you. I don't want you all up in my house. That's what I feel like a FaceTime call is. You haven't even taken me on a first date yet for you to be all up in my house on this video camera. What was the progression from you guys meeting on that street in Lewisham to then him performing these acts on you. How did you get from A to B? One day we came on the phone mm -hmm. and he was like, just have weird fetishes that I can't tell anyone about. Mm -hmm. And I was like, tell me. And he told me, like, sometimes he likes licking belly buttons. Apart from that, he likes eating ass. So you went online and you exposed him and you said he, he's lying about him having sex with you. He only performs analingus on you. Can you please explain why you came online to expose him? I wanted his friend. First, he tried to say we dated. That got shut down. Then he said he was joking. I was like, cool. Second time, his second strike was in February. That was his second strike. He was like, oh, like, I cheated her, blah, 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 blah. No, I'm a lot older than you. I don't actually know what cheating means. To have sex. Okay, so yeah. he, he lied and said that you had sex. sex. Yeah but you didn't have sex with him. There was no sex. Okay. Here we go with her being smart as hell again. I'm a lot older than you. I actually don't know. Girl, I don't feel like Tamela was giving her any type of disrespect. I think she was answering, and yeah, she was answering with the chip on her shoulder. But think about it. She's 18. She's getting paid for somebody to eat her groceries. Do you think she's about to walk around humble and like, you know, thank y'all for having me? No! To do something like that takes a lot of cojones. You don't just do that out of nowhere and you're the shyest girl in the room. No, that takes a lot. As the big sister of the city, Situation, you could have soothed that flame and got a whole bunch more out of her by being like, jeeted. Okay, see, now you're losing me. Now, what that mean? Does that mean that he done skeeted or what, what you said? And then after that, he, he said it twice. Yes. So he said it that time in February. And then this time when I heard it, like his friend came on the phone and he was like, I'm bothered. Like my guy keeps saying he cheated you. I don't know if I can take you serious. And that really provoked me. I, I didn't expect it to go so far. I expected him and his friends to see it. You claim that he begged to perform this act on you. How did, how did that come about? This generational gap does not have to exist if people would just learn how to build a bridge using kindness. <laughs> That's all it is. It, girl, if you want to play the big sister role and if you want to be like, oh, I'm a lot older, I have a lot more wisdom, show that you're wiser by being kinder and put a bra on. Don't nobody need to see that. I know, I'll, I'll, I'll call the Holy Ghost and forces on your ass. It was. He don't want it. He don't want it and I don't want it either. I don't want it in our church. Do you want it? No! Get the oil out. <laughs> we rebuke these bodies. 
animal hey. shine. These body con dresses, we rebuke hey. it and you're going to hell. They get in here, clean your ass right on up. We were in a hotel room and then he was like, oh, can I try something on you? And I was like, what? He's told me. I was like, how much do you have? Sorry, pause. He's told you what he wanted to do and you asked how much does he have? Correct. He was like, oh, like right now I only got four bills. I was like, we can make that work because you're not about to harass my asshole for free. He has to pay it. Before, before, yes, okay. before the service. Do you have proof of him paying? Why would you ask that? Did you expect her to be like, do I have proof? Yeah, let me um, let me find his cash app name and then um, the last four of his credit card and then let me show you too. Why would you ask her that? That's a dumb ass question to ask. I'm starting to feel like you, you, you being smart for no reason. You asking no nonsense questions. Stick to the story. I would start asking questions like, did he have a girlfriend? Did he have a baby mama? What was he like? Did he always have a crush on you? What did he say afterward? What did he say before? When he left you, was he texting you? Was he trying to call you again? Like I would be wanting to get to the questions of like, how did this man act afterward? Not the shit she's saying. No, because he's he's from Lewisham. They what don't really have bank accounts. He paid in cash, yes. He paid in cash. What was part of this transaction? What does he get for £400? He gets to my bum. Yeah. And why that's it. Why didn't you go the full to the full extent with him? I had a bit of like a bay at the time, so it wasn't appropriate. You had a bay at the time? A little bit. A little a, bit. A little bit of a bay. Girl, what does that mean? Like I was speaking to someone else. Yeah. Another issue I see here. You mean to tell me you would sell your four hundred dollars that's what you would do is if if you're asking that question to her and please understand that i am saying this in respect to a profession that a lot of women choose not to do and a lot of women choose to do i want to ask this interviewer lady if you chose her job would you go all the way with a man for just four hundred dollars no yeah reverse it bitch but it wasn't appropriate for me and him to have sex but it was appropriate for him to eat your bum that's business i'm a lady Okay. You keep talking about business and no one's gonna eat your bum without paying. Like, girl, <laughs> what is, what's your profession? Because to me, it's giving prostitution. I don't think I do it on a wide scale. But you do prostitution on a selective scale. Mm. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really see it as prostitution. I see it as if you want something from me and just that, you should pay. Was that your first time getting money for sex acts or is this something that you've been doing for a, a, a while i used to let boys suck my toes for money <laughs> nothing in me is bad at this young lady nothing in me is angry at her because we see all the time young ladies getting played in the worst of ways and they're not even requiring a man to take them on a date this young lady is like look you want to do anything you better pay you better pay for it and from what i understand where she's from is like the hood what can you do when you're from the hood and you're trying to make a way out of nothing and you're trying to make something happen out of something you know what i'm saying you're gonna do what you got to do to get by the way this interview lady is asking questions like i said she's not opening to mellow up to talk more she's judging her she literally walked her down a trail to say she's a part-time prostitute she walked her down there she could have said like so okay girl you said uh-uh it's not free for my honey pot you could have said anything to make her feel more empowered to express herself more and if she really studied this girl she would have also studied that the girl said my way isn't the way for all girls it's my way but i'm not saying it's the right way and i'm, I'm not even saying this is the way to gain respect anyone who's younger than me let me just say this you see me getting bad praise on the media my way is not the way to go people are not praising me because of what i choose to do people are praising me just because i'm funny literally do not see me and hear what i'm saying and think yeah let me be like her do not be like me if if you want to be like anyone do not be like me go to school go to school go to uni from uni get an actual job you're gonna have way more respect if you have a, a um a degree a master's in anything you're gonna get m way more way more respect in the public than me promise you that how can you not respect that you feel me how can you not respect that why do you feel like you've gotten into this business of having transactions for sexual favors i just realized men are a bit weird and some of them should be taken advantage of okay. so if they want to use me mm -hmm. i'll use you first you know who should be used the fresh and fit dudes <laughs> And anybody who believes in that fresh and fit red pill bullshit. Because them boys, them boys is going down. Walter got a girl pregnant. Uh huh, prego nut. I don't keep up with them. But them the type of niggas who do deserve to get taken advantage of. Because they talk so heavy about women. They talk so cold on women. Yeah, you deserve the worst woman. And I hope her real name is Karma. Her real legal government name is Karma. <laughs> you put on your story different things of what people can do to you. So 500 pounds for eating your bum, 400 pounds for eating your front. That sounds really up. low. I think 550 was my bum, mm. 650 to eat my vagina.
So do you have a booking system for this? No, I was actually looking for our manager to help me manage my bookings at the moment. To manage your part-time prostitution? Steve wrote a madman wants to manage her. Yeah? I want to manage her, bruv. The girl's got character, bruv. She's got character. She's got more character in her little finger than half the people I see blowing at the moment. Yeah? She just needs some guidance. She's rough around the edges, but I love that. You need that. You see how she's just got the internet in a chokehold. Now it's time to get some fucking plans to what you've already got. And that's your personality, bruv. You know what I mean? Bare people in this game ain't got personality. Good editor. I might make it full time. Oh. Well, okay, so what's your clientele? My clientele. Aside from Malachi. This is what's really weird. Most people would think, like, the young, successful men wouldn't pay for this, like, because mm -hmm. they can get women easily. Mm -hmm. That's my main clientele. Really? When you say young, successful, what demographic are we talking? Rappers. Rappers? As in up-and-coming or established? She tried to slide her. You see how she tried to slide her? Are you even making any money from selling that monkey? Or are you just out here selling your ass, not making no cash? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> Don't do that. And you already know when we're talking about something like this. You know, nobody who's truly in this industry is going to be like, oh, yeah, let me tell you about my clientele. So usually my clientele is between 32 to 34. They are 5'8 to 5'9. A majority of them lives in the Rosedale School District. Are you stupid? People who pay for services like this are not going to want other people to know that they pay for services like this. So you've been hit up by established rappers who want to eat your only three. Only, only. Did you charge these rappers or did they get a premium service or like... Of course they get charged. If anything, they get charged more. They get charged more. Yes. So what's the criteria? What's the... Not criteria. What's the bracket that they get in charge? Maybe 1,500 to 2,000 because they can afford it. Okay, so when you're charging them up to 2,000 pounds, do they get the full... Right. They don't get to enjoy me sexually. Oh, so you don't have sex with any of these clients? It's just no. us eating? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. So is this like an OnlyFans type thing? I was thinking of starting that. She is trolling her in real life right now. Tamela is trolling the fuck out this host. She's clocking everything you're trying to do. She's clocking every little side comment you're trying to make to paint her in this light of being this prostitute, part-time prostitute. She's pulling what you're saying and she's flipping that shit back on your ass. That's why you starting to get hot up underneath the collar because you don't like how she keep flipping it and flipping it and flipping it, which I'm proud about. That tells me a couple of things about this girl. This girl done came from a hard background where she had to fight with her mouth. She had to use strong words she had to be able to be on her toes and be ready to say whatever because the people who were talking to her were talking to her cold as hell so she had to be ready that's what she's doing in this interview that's what she's showcasing and i keep on going back to how you gonna try to be this big sister energy and the energy that you're giving off is irritation and annoyance because she is speaking her truth it ain't even your truth you ain't gotta bust it wide to make no money and you probably couldn't because your attitude is bad i wouldn't pay you for a probably bite my pee but you feel what I'm saying though? Drop in the comments if you feel what I'm saying. Okay. But I just don't have the heart. <laughs> We're gonna need well. to make it make sense. I might as well. After you might this. as well go full full force if you're telling the whole world. Why did you want to come online and tell everybody on the World Wide Web? Mainly because I don't care what okay. anyone else thinks. Secondly, I didn't expect it to go so far. Okay. I really expected it to circle within London, mm -hmm. South London only. Mm -hmm. His friends would see it and disgrace him. Okay, so you didn't think that in this no. viral community it would not go viral? No, because like I've been a shit talker for years. Like I talk crap all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, Let's say for example, you do become a successful rapper. Maybe brands might not want to particularly work with you because of certain things that you say does that bother you at all you think about that no look at cardi b how oh. did she start cardi b's in america their morals everything that they stand for even their culture is very different to the uk in the uk like i said we're but we're a lot more prudish here bitch please y'all got uk baddies if you spoke about me just say you spoke about me i'm black clad done who don't chat who You didn't do piss, you're not on piss, are you not?
shut up with that bullshit. We're a lot more prudish. We're a lot more professional and in suit and tie and buttoned up. Girl, the only thing y'all's different over there is y'all not talking out loud about it. Over here in America, we are. But y'all just as bad. Don't, don't even, especially when it comes to something like this. Y'all are just as bad. You really tried to make it seem like, well, I don't know if you could be like a Cardi B because over here we don't allow that. If anything, over there, they're going to love it even more because it's not spoken about as openly, but it's still done completely, lady. Completely. You understand me? Even though that, that kind of timeline that you said with Cardi B is true, do you think that it can be reflected in the UK? Definitely. Only because people are quite shocked by me, mm -hmm. I believe. Because as you said, the UK is very prudish. Mm -hmm. I stand out. It's mm -hmm. like, it makes people look at me. It mm -hmm. makes owners of shows mm -hmm. and people who have platforms want to speak to me, want me on their shows. Mm -hmm. So I think eventually it'll work out. I, I'm never going to change and I'm never going to get tired because it's just my personality. Obviously, when people were online kind of getting at you, you were talking about the fact that your your dad didn't do a good job raising you. Do you want to elaborate on that? Um, my dad was like in and out of my life. So there was never really that male proper figure. That may have contributed to how I am now. But either way, I don't know. There's whores with dad. That is true. So you feel like your dad not being a part of your life is what's led you to being a part-time prostitute? No, 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 no. She didn't even say none of that shit. What are you talking about? She didn't say none of that. Okay, so her TikTok had gotten banned at a certain number and I'm pretty sure people were just flagging her account probably from uk like uh, uh we don't talk about this shit out here because we're so prudish we don't talk about whatever that's probably what happened anyway her tiktok account got taken down so if she was talking about her dad and her feelings towards her dad i almost want to bet money she probably was saying i don't know how to interact with men on a healthy level because i didn't have a healthy relationship with my dad and maybe that is why she is doing some of the stuff she's doing but i guarantee that isn't the only reason like this lady is trying to make it seem like so you would say that because your dad wasn't around you decided to sell that <laughs> huh yeah that's what i could tell in you no i feel like even if i had a dad if i choose to that's nothing to do with him people have two parents in their house and become serial killers yeah do you not feel any shame when you're talking about these things online? My point is, with you, you're coming online and speaking but about... But what do guys know about you? Men you may have been with in the past, mm -hmm. what do they know about you? It's not being discussed by over 10 million people online. Basically, to answer this question, you have no shame. Why do you keep saying that? I'm asking you a question. It's like you're trying to get a rise out of me. What do you mean? It's like you're trying to provoke me. I'm not trying to provoke you. I'm just trying to art and articulate Are the fact like that you ain't got shame. Are you attacking me because you're old? Oh. She knew that was gonna make this bitch mad. She knew that was gonna make her mad, but she kept, she did keep on. What, what's a good example? I ain't gonna use you, Quinn. You can sit there. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What she keep on doing? Poking the bear. This is her right here. That's what she kept on doing, poking the bear. Finally, the girl said, okay, what the fuck is up, bitch? You mean you're mad because you don't get to live the life that I live? I got niggas eating my booty and they're paying me for it. I got niggas sucking my toes and they're bringing me crab legs and $200 on it afterwards. What's up? You mad about it? Yeah, because sometimes you got to go at people like that. They they keep wanting to go at you. Sometimes, damn it, you got to go at them. Like your generation wouldn't really understand my generation. We're very far apart. <laughs> okay. I read somewhere you're like 40. 48. While well, I look damn good for 48, if that's you the do. case. I'll give you that. You do. Yeah. But that doesn't change the fact that after rave, when you was 18, you were probably getting fuck out behind bin. You don't know me. I'm going to excuse I don't myself. Need to know you. I'm going to excuse myself Remember, for a sec. Remember, you need me here. Okay. That's fine. Slay good as. Give it to them. <laughs> I'm sorry. Cougar. Everyone wants to attack me. Like, see, she's walked out her own interview. This is the Tamello show now. Thanos of the UK ran the host off her own platform. Babe, fuck with me if you want. Does someone want to go get her? I love your dress. I love it. And your hair's nice. Thank you so much. It's probably for the older generation. She tried to defuse the situation and what your ass doing? You keep on wanting to keep it going. Keep wanting to keep it going. She tried to compliment you, all this other type of shit. And she started laughing when you walked out, which would have let me know, oh girl, you playing with me. You trying to make me mad because you see that I was trying to make you mad. So you trying to make me mad back. I see what you was trying to do. There. I really don't like what you was trying to do there, but I get what you was trying to do there. So I can't be mad. Like, girl, shake loose. Damn. I'm going to have to keep it cute because I don't want to come out of character. I'm being professional. I don't want to get ignorant. I don't want to come to your level. Okay. So let's, let's be, you know, like, let's act like we have. But I don't, as you just said. That's why I said let's act. I don't act. Well, try. But I will actually, because it's your show. Okay, darling. Kai let's talk about it. Let's talk about How it. How did you feel when he reached out to you? He didn't. What do you mean he didn't? There's a clip online of you doubting 
like in many of your videos, and you're saying that Kai Sanat reached out, you're, you've made it, you're, you've gone clear. Okay. Did you see the response from Kai Sanat? Yeah. Okay. So I just want to take this moment to truly thank all the pawns in my game, that being the UK public, all the pawns in my game who believed me so, so freely, believed me. I sat there and I thought, how can I take this to a different level? Because eventually the UK public is going to be sick of me. Kai Sanat, biggest streamer in the world. These fools actually managed to get Kai Sanat to address me publicly, whether it's negative or not whether he's saying I don't know her or not now people from his stream there was probably 10 million people on that stream came to find me and find me they did because my views on my account my profile views went from 4 million to 8 so it boosted 4 million in 12 hours it was all a game and they fell for it so I just want to thank all the pawns in this game so you're a liar to an extent no just yes or no you're a liar yes so then is it fair to say that this whole story is fake no this was just a way to boost my platform even further okay you mentioned earlier that you are a um what's the word you used you are a avid chat shitter so is all of your story like lies as all your story times just you coming up with things to be popular online no but it's not popularity it's more interest i wouldn't say i'm popular because popular is a word to be liked mm -hmm. i'm not like okay. so then if you're coming up with more stories and things like that would it be fair for us to say that all of the things that you're saying aren't factual if you've passed all other exams but fell one is it fair to say you're a dumb bitch I don't know how to answer that question. But you're smart though. But you failed one exam. Does so that discredit everything else? So you're basically saying one, one fake story doesn't discredit the rest of your story. Exactly. That's a damn shame that she was able to shock her enough to get her attention to understand, girl, this is a marketing ploy. You're older than me. You actually have a whole show here. How do you not see that this is a marketing ploy? Nah, because you keep on trying to tear me down for what I'm deciding to do. It's not hurting you at all. It didn't do nothing to you. You could feel the type of way and be like, oh, well, that was just wrong for you to do that to that young man. You should have did that to that young uh, At the end of the day, it happened, okay? It happened. So you're sitting up here trying to make me say things make me out to be this certain type of woman and i'm gonna teach you real quick oh now i got your attention oh so one failed attempt huh? oh, okay the one viral story doesn't make that who i am so why you still trying to sit up here and paint me up as a part-time prostitute girl shut up i feel like that's what smell was trying to do yeah what do you plan on doing with this content like how do you want to use this to benefit yourself i think i'm just seeing where it goes at the moment you're beautiful but like i can tell you was like a bitch in school like you i would have probably had a couple fights with you but... i'm i'm gonna just yeah just just move on because I don't want to say anything that I don't want to say. Let's be guided. You even quoted me. Like I said, what do you plan on doing with this newfound fame that you've discovered, that you've gained? TikTok fame is one thing. Mm -hmm. TikTok fame, it's not real fame. Mm -hmm. I plan to turn it into real fame and having actual notoriety. I don't know if I'll ever be a respected member of society, but I want to be known. When I walk into rooms, I want to be known. As what? That is a really good question. I wasn't even prepared for that. And not to be disrespectful, but a lot of people would notice you as a part-time prostitute. Okay. Is that a narrative that you want to change? I just want to be known. Whatever they choose to know me as, as long as they know me, it's fine. Melo, it was lovely. Well, it was interesting having you here on Off The Record. I wish you all the best in your career. Hopefully it works out the same way it did for Cardi B. If not, take care. Guys, it has been me, Midday Oni, the one and only, and this has been Off Don't The Record. Don't sign off as if it's your show because you needed me here. It's been Tamelo from Bristol. Tamelo from Bristol. Let me look at all cameras. Thank you. Off the record. You can cut, by the way. She has nothing further to say. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for on joining off us. The... You're not about to edit this out. It's been the Tamelo show. Had I not been here, you'd have had fuck all to speak about. So thank you. You can cut here because I'm just going to keep interrupting you. You might as well do this in your own time. Oh. Jesus is good. And I thank God for growth. I don't know what to say here because do I give it back? I don't know what's going on here, guys. Keep your career, sis. You, yeah. you, at least you have one. Yeah. At least I have one. Thank you. That is very At 31, I'd expect that. Yeah. I'm glad that she checked her ass. I'm glad she did this the whole entire time at the end. I am so glad. That is what she deserved. Now, of course, there was a happy ending to this. Like, at the end of the real. day, I love you. Like, I have no animosity towards you. You've shared your platform with me. Like, I feel like we just misunderstood each other. I don't want anyone to come for you. Well, tell your people, boy, because they be coming for me real hard. Apparently, I'm 59. According <laughs> to you, see, see, see the rumors that you're starting. <laughs> Do you see what you've done? Do you All see I what you've done? You, 
is to throw away the Clarks because you see on your Instagram post you had nice shoes. I love, I love the shoes. Tabella, I'm going to bang you in your nostril. Honestly, when I see you again, I'm going to give you dirty smack. You know, I'm going to smack you. Please, when you get rid of the she and shoes, I will get rid of the Clarks. Can you is that fair? Me, listen, can you use some of the money which you have from this interview to buy me new shoes? I will buy you new shoes. What shoes do you want, babe? Balenciagas. I got you. Balenciaga. I got you. I got you. What's your size? Are you si size 13? I got you, baby. <laughs> size 13? I'm a size I got 13. you. I got 13. you with your big feet. I got you, baby. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I'm a size 7. Okay, don't worry. I got you, babe. I got you. They still was able to come together as big sis, little sis. I could tell little sis probably gonna run big sis, okay? Let me know what you think down in the comments. I have been the Just Case and Brand. I'm so glad that you tuned in. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and come back for the next video, okay? I'm gonna see you then. Bye-bye.